This morning marks a grim anniversary in Beijing. 25 years ago, China's army used brute force to end a massive protest in Tiananmen Square. Since then, China's government has done its best to erase the massacre from their history books. And Seth Doan is in Beijing, where that effort continues today. Seth, good morning. Good morning. It has been incredibly difficult to find people who are willing to talk to us on this story. We've had interviews that have mysteriously been canceled right before we were supposed to hold them. We've even had locations where we were supposed to do those interviews sealed by police who are clearly monitoring our communication. Even 25 years on, this anniversary is incredibly sensitive. At dawn, China's flag was raised over Tiananmen Square, as it is every day. But on this anniversary, extra security forces, some with machine guns, were stationed around the square. Why are you okay. stopping me? Who are you? While trying to report, we found citizens serving as plainclothed informants. Where I'm Seth Doan with As China News, revealed its authoritarian size. 25 years ago, tanks rolled into Beijing's Tiananmen Square to suppress a weeks-long student uprising that had spread across China. The communist government's crackdown turned bloody. It's still not known how many died. Estimates range from 200 to more than 1,000. As a student here in China, do you learn about Tiananmen Square in history books? Uh, not mentioned. Not yeah, mentioned. Yeah, not, not mentioned. mentioned. Not mentioned at all. These college students, whom we won't name because they took a risk just to talk with us, acknowledged it's difficult to find information about what the government calls the June 4th incident. The 25 years passed and we still don't know what happened. I think that's, that, that, that's, uh, not, that's not cool, I think. Not cool. Yeah, that's not cool. Everyone in China, we have rights to know the truth. After, after that, so many years passed and we, we still don't know what happened. Try searching Tiananmen Square on China's heavily monitored internet or keywords like June 4th or even 6489 and results are censored. And this red dots are all um, where, where, the where people they die. People it's so difficult to talk kill, openly the about the Tiananmen Square in China that we traveled to Hong Kong beyond the reach of mainland authorities. There, in a small 800-square-foot Tiananmen Square museum, former protester Li chuk Yong is fighting to tell the story of 1989. I asked how he got around censors to publicize the museum in places like Beijing. He said they got creative. They don't call it June 4th because once you call it June 4th, you know, it will be erased. So instead, they call it the 535, meaning May 35th. They're New adding Zealand. up the dates yeah, to June 4th. Exactly. When you look at some of those search terms that have been banned, we learned today that the word in Chinese for today has also been banned. This may be front page news elsewhere in the world, but you would not know it here. We get BBC and CNN here, but every time they're going to go to a story about the Tiananmen Square anniversary, the censors do their job. They hit whatever button they hit and the screen goes to black for the duration of the report. And check out these papers, both English and Chinese language, went to the newsstands today. Not a single mention of this anniversary in any of these papers here, Gail. Wow. Mm. Seth, thank you very much. Very